All right, guys, in today's video, I want to show you how to program the reliable keypad that built. So if you have a new lock, the first step is to run the door handy. This is going to teach the lock the orientation of the door to know if it's a right or left-handed door. You don't want to skip this step because your lock might not work electronically if you don't do this. Now let's go ahead and run the door handy. First, you need to enter the default programming code. That's four zeros. And I'll hit the lock and unlock key. And then press zero and hit this again. That's it. The light just extend that to land the orientation of the door. And now the door handing is complete. So the next step is to change the default programming code. That's the programming code that comes with the lock. So let's go ahead and change it. Enter the code. That's four zeros. And I'll hit this key. And press four. And hit this key again. Now enter your new programming code, four to ten digits. And hit this. You can see that a green flash with two beeps showing the new programming code is not active, and that's what you're going to use for other programming. And now the next step is to remove the D4 user code. This lock comes with the D4 user code one, two, three, four. This user code can be used to unlock your door from the outside, so you need to remove it to ensure security. So let's go ahead and remove the default user code. First, you need to enter your current programming code. Now hit the lock and unlock key. And then press 2 and hit this again. Now enter the code you want to remove. That's 1, 2, 3, 4. And hit this. You can see that a green flash with two beeps showing the default user code has been removed. And now I want to show you how to add a user code to this lock. As you know, a user code is a 4 to 10 digit code that can be used to unlock your door from the outside. So to add a user code, the first step is to enter your current programming code. And I'll hit the lock and unlock key. And then press 1. And hit this key again. Now you need to enter a new user code, 4 to 10 digit. And hit this key. You can see that a green flash with two beeps showing the new user code has been added. So now let's see how we can unlock this with the user code we just created. So to lock, you can hit this key here to lock, and that's it. And now to unlock, you need to enter a user code. So let's go ahead and enter the user code we just created. So that's 5544. Hit this. So that's it. That's how to lock and unlock the live with keypad deadbolt from the outside using the user code. So this lock allows you to add up to 10 user codes and you can remove them if you want to do so. So if you want to remove all user codes at once, here's how to do it. First, you need to enter your current programming code. Now press the lock and unlock key. And then press 3 and hit this key again. You can see that a green flash with two beeps showing all the user codes have been removed from this lock. And now the auto lock to turn it on first you need to enter your programming code now hit the lock and unlock key now you need to press five and hit this again you can see that a green flash with two beeps showing the auto lock function is now active so now your door is going to lock after 30 seconds where you can set your own time if you want to set your own time, you can go ahead and do this. So enter your programming code. Now hit lock and unlock key. And then press 6. And hit this again. And now you want to enter your time, 10 to 99 seconds. And hit this. You can see that your time is now set. And if you want to turn off the auto lock, what you need to do is to enter your programming code press the lock and unlock key and then press 5 and press this again that's it the auto lock is now turned off and now i want to show you how to reset this lock if you have lost your programming code you can reset the lock to restore the factory default settings and then use the default programming code to reprogram the lock now let's go ahead and reset this lock. First, you need to go to the interior assembly of the lock. So here, you need to take off the battery cover. Slide up to remove it. And then there's a pin hole here. So you need to get a pin like this. And then insert it into the hole. 
Now you need to press and hold it. Hold it for about five seconds. And once you hear three long beeps, the reset is complete. So you can now go ahead and run the door handing. Don't forget, you need to run the door handing before any other programming. This is going to take you log your orientation of your door to know if it's a right or left handed door. So that's how it works. That's how to program your library keypad that board. I hope this video was helpful. And if so, please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.